Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add motion blur. Motion blur simulates the blur that your eyes see in real life, so it's going to give your animations a more organic and natural look. This is the original animation. There is no easing on the keyframes to smooth the animation, and there is no motion blur to give it that organic, realistic blur. Here is the same animation with easy ease added on the keyframes and motion blur enabled. So first, let's build this simple animation of the logo. So I'm gonna move the CTI forward to about the 20 frame mark, and I'm gonna add a keyframe for both the position and the rotation property. So I'll select the layer, I'll tap P for position, then hold the shift key and tap the letter R. Then I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to each property to add a keyframe. I'll drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. Then I'm gonna select the logo and start dragging it to the left. I'm gonna press the shift key. That way it won't go up and down. It's just gonna stay in that straight line. And I'm just gonna drag it off the composition window. I'm also gonna go down to the rotation property and just manually enter a value. I'm gonna put minus 15. And as I drag the CTI, you can see the logo is just rotating on subtly and it's gonna end when it gets to those second keyframes. I'll move the CTI forward to about the two second mark. I'm gonna tap the letter N, that's gonna set a work area. So now I can tap the space bar, and that's just gonna loop the playback over and over again within the work area. If you select the last two keyframes, if you move them closer together, that's gonna speed up the animation. And if you move them further apart, that is gonna slow down the animation. To smooth out the animation, I'll add easy ease to the keyframes. So I'll just drag out a selection of the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease, or use the must know keyboard shortcut F9. And to give it that final touch to really make your animations look better and more professional, we're going to now add the motion blur. First, make sure that you see the switches in the layers panel. If you don't see these, just right click anywhere in the header area, go to columns, and just make sure that switches is checked. Turning on or enabling motion blur is a two-step process. First, you must enable motion blur for all layers. So you just tick the motion blur icon above the layers panel. When you see it in color, that means now you can enable motion blur on the individual layers and all you need to do is just tick the box under the motion blur icon. You can see they're the same icon. Tick the box. Now motion blur is enabled on that layer. If I drag the CTI slowly, motion blur is enabled. If I untick the box, that turns off the motion blur, tick it on again. That's all you have to do. First you enable motion blur on all layers, then you tick the box under any layer that you want to add motion blur. Just be aware that enabling motion blur can slow down or affect the performance of your computer. So you don't just wanna turn it on every single layer. And if you do find that enabling motion blur is slowing down the performance while you're working, well, you can just toggle it off while you're working, then just toggle it back on when you're ready to render your compositions. In most cases, the default motion blur is all you need, but if you ever do want to customize the settings, you can do so in the composition settings menu by going to the very top, clicking composition, composition settings, or using the keyboard shortcut, command or control K. Go to the advanced tab, increase the shutter angle to increase the amount of motion blur, decrease the shutter angle to reduce the amount of motion blur. I'm happy with the default 180 degrees, so I'll click OK. And if you are working with effects, this is the shatter effect, or maybe the pixel poly, which is similar, where you cannot enable motion blur, but you really want to add motion blur, well, there is an effect under the time category called CC Force Motion Blur. Enabling that is going to force motion blur, but I will tell you that it really slows down your computer. I rarely use it but just know that it does exist and there may be a time where you really want to use it. And that is how to enable motion blur to give your animations a more natural and realistic blur in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.